In this video we will go talk about the topography of the skull. The topography of the skull consists of unification of all bones which form some structures such as orbit, nasal cavity, temporal fossa. But before the starting of describing of all of these things, you need to know the skull has normas. Normas it is view of the skull which use it in anthropology or anatomy. For example, first one is frontal norma, norma frontalis, norma lateralis, norma occipitalis, norma basilaris, yes, and last one is norma superior or norma vortex or calvary. The first, first of all, we need to divide the neurocranium on two main parts of the unit of all bones, that is base of the skull and calvaria. The line between these two the border between these two paths through the hypothetic line which start from the glabella, start from the glabella, pass through the zygomatic process and frontal process of zygomatic bone, pass on the border of the zygomatic arch, pass through the base of the mastoidal process and superior nucleus line and after pass, after radius pass to the inion and last point of this line is the inion or posterior occipital protuberance. And line or plane path which path through this border is divide the skull into parts. Base of skull consists of the two parts as two surfaces, internal and external base of the skull or lower of the skull which has the internal base of skull has three fossas anterior, middle and posterior cranial fossa border between all these three is the lesser wings posterior border between anterior and middle roof for the superior petrous sinus yes, or both sides on the pyramid or superior border of the pyramid is the border between the middle and posterior all these three things has pyramids and communication. The anterior cranial fossa, formed by the three bones, orbital part. The anterior cranial fossa, formed by the three bones, orbital part of the frontal bone, lesser wing of the sphenoidal bone, and body of sphenoidal bone. Also, the etmoidal bone. Cribriform plate, crista galli, and perpendicular plate. Also, it consists from the foraminas and uh, canals, such as posterior anterior foramen of ethmoidal bone, anterior and posterior foramen secum, a front of the a front of the crista galli, and small foramens on the crista galli. The medial cranial fossa formed by the body of sphenoidal bone with the Turkish cell, the greater wing of sphenoidal bone, cerebral surface, squamous part of the temporal bone. All of them has foramens such as canalis, opticus, which communicate medial cranial fossa with orbit. Here we can find the foramen rotundum, foramen ovale, foramen spinosum, lateral foramen, yes, and openings for the openings for the greater and lesser occipital nerve, foramen spinosum, foramen rotundum, and, and foramen spinosum. Communication of the medial cranial fossa is next. Optical canal communicate middle cranial fossa with orbit, foramen rotundum communicated with pterygopilot and fossa, oval foramen, spinous foramen, and lateral foramen, communicated with external base of skull and uh, infratemporal fossa. Posterior cranial fossa formed by two parts of temporal bone, mastoidal and posterior cranial fossa has internal acoustic meters which leads to the facial canal and internal ear, has jugular foramen, yes, has jugular foramen here, as for Raymond Magnum and Canalis Nervi Hippoglossi, Canalis Nervi Hippoglossi and the Mastoidal Foramen. All of these foramens communicate to steel cranial fossa with external of the skull. 
on the external surface of this color, you can see the art palette and see the opening corner. Also, you can see the lateral foramen, which is formed by fusion of petrous part of the temporal bone and sphenoidal bone foramen magnum and jugular foramen, which hides by the lateral part of the occipital bone. On this surface, you can see the foramen cecum, which is located on the palatine process between the palatine process of the mandula. You can see the two foramen for you can see the two foramens for passing of palatine nerves, which both greater and lesser palatine foramen. You can see the oval foramen and spinous foramen, also external needles for the carotid canal and fossas for the jugular vein. The external base of skull formed by the occipital bone, squamous part, lateral part of occipital bone condylar process of occipital bone, base of occipital, the greater wing of sphenoidal bone, pterygoid process, and the squamous and tympanic part of the temporal bone.